Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the first test of the IELTS Cambridge 14 academic book. All right, let's get started. It is always a good idea to skim through the pieces first. This will give you a brief idea of the book and grammar you are going to come across. But be careful, don't spend too much time on this. Now, let's start with the first question. It says here, building a magical kingdom may help develop something. Now, it's time to choose the keywords here. I believe the key phrase magical kingdom can be the right one for this job. So let's get back to the passage one and scan for this specific information. So here it is in the first line of the first paragraph. Now we can keep reading from the pieces again. In the third line it says here, although she isn't aware of it, this fantasy is helping her to take her first steps towards her capacity for creativity. So the key phrase, take her first steps towards her capacity for creativity, means the same thing as to develop her creativity. So the answer is creativity. So let's move on to the next one. Board games involve something and turn taking. Remember, in most cases, the questions follow the order of the passage. It is also true in this case. So let's read from the next sentence why we have found the earlier answer. Kiwasa, board games and turn taking in this question. In the third line of the second paragraph, we can find the keyword board games. If we keep reading, we can see the next keywords take turns. But now we need to find what else it involves. And we can see easily that what rules is the only option here. So the answer is rules. The next question is population of something have grown. So let's pick the keywords out. They are populations and grown. In the first two lines of the fifth paragraph, the writer says, but we live in the changing times and white bread is mindful of a worldwide decline in play, pointing out that over half of the people in the world now live in cities. If we read these sentences carefully, we can easily understand that the number of people in cities have grown. So the word cities is the right match for this answer. So let's look at the next one. Opportunities for free play are limited due to fear of something. So here we need to find the reasons why the opportunities for free play are limited. And the key phrases are fear of for the next two questions here. If we scan through the same paragraph where we have found the early answers, in the fifth line, we can find the writer expresses the idea of the risk that is associated with the traffic and parents wish to protect their children from being the victims of crime. The key words risk and protect are paraphrased here in order to express a sense of fear. So the answer are traffic and crime, which can be written in any order. The next question also asks us to find the reasons why opportunities for free play are limited. Keywords are increased and school in this question. So let's go back to the same paragraph and read from the next lines where we have found the earlier answer. As this question is related to the earlier ones. The writer says here, which is leading greater competition in academic learning and schools. So here the keywords greater implies the increase and lead indicates the result. So it is easy to say that competition is the right answer. The following question is on international policies on children's play. We need to locate the thing that is difficult to find to support new policies. Keywords are difficult support new policies here. In the beginning of the sixth paragraph, the writer talks about international bodies like the United Nations and European Union, as well as the policies that are developing. So at the end of this paragraph, the writer talks about the difficulty in finding the evidence to support new policies. The keywords like expresses the difficulty and the word base is used as the synonym for support. So the answer is evidence. So let's move on to the next one. Research needs to study the impact of play on the rest of the child something. The keywords are research, need, study, and rest of the child. Dr. Jenny Gibson points out at the end of the eighth paragraph that there is very little data on the impact it has on the child's later life. So here key phrase very little data indicates the needs for the research to study the impact. And child's later life suggests the area of research. Also the phrase child's later life is used to express the rest of the child's later life here. So the word missing here is life. The answer is life. Now we have here true false not givens. 
In this type of question, candidates are asked to find out whether the statement in the question matches, contradicts or has no clear connection with the information given in the text. So let's start with this. Children with good self-control are known to be likely to do well at school later on. First, we need to scan for the keywords. We can find the keyword self-control in the 11th paragraph. We can also locate other keywords in the same paragraph. In the beginning of this paragraph, the writer talks about how toddlers and young preschoolers can get benefits from having greater self-control. And at the end of this paragraph, the writer sums up this idea by saying giving children the chance to play will make them more successful problem solvers in the long run. The phrase in the long run means in the future or later on and similarly making them more successful problem solvers expresses the likelihood or the chance of doing well at school. So the answer is true. So let's go to the next one. The way a child plays may provide information about possible medical problems. Keywords in this question, the way a child plays may provide information and possible medical problems. If we look into the paragraph number 13, it clearly shows that Gibson pointed out that medical condition like autism which can be diagnosed or identified by observing children at play. So the answer to this question is true. Let's move on to the next one. Playing with dolls was found to benefit girls writing more than boys writing. He was here are playing with dolls benefit girls and writing. We can find a reference to playing with dolls in the fourth line of the 14th paragraph but there is no clear explanation of the benefits that it can offer to girls in comparison to boys in terms of writing. So the answer to this question is not given. Let's look at the next one. Children had problems thinking up ideas when they first created the story with Lego. Keywords in this question are children problems thinking up ideas first created and Lego. In the third and fourth lines of the 15th paragraph, it says children wrote longer and better structured stories when they first played with dolls representing characters in the story. Even in the last three lines of the same paragraph, the writer repeats the result. Many teachers commented that they had always previously had children saying they did not know what to write about. With the Lego building, however, not a single child said this. If we consider these ideas, it is easy to point out that children had no problems thinking up ideas when they first created the story with Lego. So the answer is false, as the statement in the question contradicts the information given in the passage. Let's proceed to the last question of this text. People nowadays regard children's play as less significant than they did in the past. Keywords are here, nowadays, children's play, less significant, and did in the past. If we read the first two sentences of the last paragraph, it clearly says that somehow the importance of play has been lost in recent decades. The keyword significant is used here as the synonym for important, and the phrase lost in the recent decades implies the key phrase less significant in the past. So the answer to this question is true.